open banking. Uh, lots of people talk about it. Well, let's see how it's helpful to you. Now, here we have a display of live data. It's modified slightly and the account numbers are obscured. And the balances are not the, not the actual balances, but it's, it's using the live APIs um, so that you can see how it would work in practice. And what I always do with these videos is I fit the window on the browser to the size of the video so you can see things. So actually, we've got a page here with lots of different financial institutions. Let's go down it. We, we have, the reason we have two balances here is because they're, they're different balances. One is um, the actual balance, another one is a cleared balance, that sort of thing. So if we look at MBNA, for instance, we have a credit balance, so there's money available to be spent here, and we have a, a debit balance, which is the, the money that's actually owed so far. Um, now, let's just run this from scratch. So we reload the page, and what you see the system's doing is going off to the bank's computers and getting the immediately current bank's bank balance. It may be a few seconds behind, but essentially this is the, the same bank figure as you should get from your online bank service. And here we have Coots, we have Revolut, Lloyds. Capital One, however, on this occasion is not authorised. I'll go into that later. That's no issue with Capital One. It's merely it's not authorised at the moment. Cash Plus, which is APS Financial, Monzo, MBNA. Note that MBNA, again, is a credit card company, although owned by Lloyds. Um, and therefore, you've got the credit card details there. Barclays Bank, uh, Bank of Scotland and Halifax, and the Royal Bank of Scotland, RBS. And you can see, again, on MBNA, you see how the, the, there are reasons for having two balances, one of which is the um, credit limit and the other one is a debit limit and then we have this button by the side and if we click on that button it goes off to Revolut in this instance and it says um, where does that balance come from so that that's what that's where we get to in terms of account summary so you can see all of your bank balances for any particular legal entity a limited company or a person or whatever all in one place and see the transaction so for Treasury management it's quite a useful thing to have. Um, obviously, because that direct Cirrostratus allow you to maintain a number of legal entities, limited companies, partnerships, that sort of thing, on one account, you can actually have a separate page like this for each of those legal entities. So if you're a group of companies, for instance, you can use one account on um, Cirrostratus and look up all the separate limited companies' bank balances and manage your finances in a, an organized and up to minute way now if we look at the top of the page then here we also have this thing about downloading statement information there that information is a, is basically to enable the the download of changes on the bank statements to put them into excel or to load them into our cash book and obviously once they're loaded into our cash book they can be used to submit tax returns to HMRC either for VAT or for those people who do self-assessment tax returns for self-assessment. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small number of videos, but relatively short videos that look at each different aspect. So this, this video looks only at the aspect which is seeing consolidated accounts on one page and looking up the transactions from that. So I will stop this video now and then there will be other videos that look at how you authorize things and how you incorporate bank statement in information into um, Excel and the cash book.